What is going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube. You know, another another weekly upload. Didn't we say we were gonna upload three videos? Yeah, but you know. It's tough. I don't know how people do this, man. Trying to come up with stuff to I'm trying to, to come film. up with stuff to constantly keep up with, man. It's hey, crazy. but I, I think when you come up with something good and you put it out there, I think that'll work. I better. think so. And I think we got something good today. Uh, I was talking to John about this just now and uh, we were talking about how, you know, when we first started this five years ago we had this like idea right because uh, I would hear this a lot from gym owners that gyms didn't make any money and uh, it kind of like scared me a little bit going into it like I was like damn it's a lot of money it's a big investment to not you know to not make it back or to not make a living off of it right but then you know I got past it and I was just like well it's something that I enjoy so you know I enjoy doing it so money doesn't matter right like I'll just keep doing this and I'll be happy uh, but you know looking back at it now it's like Oh, they actually do make a reasonable amount of money. Like, it's crazy. I think that part of the reason why why everything kind of, like, shifted is because five, six years ago, a gym was just a gym, right? Uh, but now it's kind of, like, getting more, like, it's becoming more of a mainstream kind of, like, thing. And it's, uh, it's becoming more of an experience. <laughs> like, you come in here for the experience, right? You come in here, you uh, get to use different machines, you get to take you know pictures in here and all that stuff and I think that's just so crazy how it's transformed into this right so I think that maybe gyms yeah weren't really that profitable back profitable back in the days right but now like gyms are gyms are there's a lot of money going into these gyms like some of the newer gyms that are popping up like there's millions of dollars that are going into them uh, not how it was back in the days which I think is freaking crazy and uh, one of the questions that we get a lot is how the fuck do we make money? Gentlemen. Oh, shit. Like, how do, how do we go from such a small location to this new location in only three years? Because we were only open for three years when we made the transition into this, right? And uh, I think, I, I, just, I just feel like you, you have to get creative. Like, there's no blueprint. There's no, there's no, like, line to what you can or can't do. You can literally just, you can do literally whatever. It's your business, right? So one of, the, one of our ways of getting creative with it was uh, we would host a lot of free events. Like if we go back in time, we're, we're, my, my mindset was like, well, we're paying rent at the old gym. We're paying rent, we're paying electricity, we're paying water, regardless if people were using the gym. And there wasn't a lot of foot traffic. So I was just like, let's just go ahead and do an open gym for weeks. So we had open gyms literally for weeks straight. So people would come, would go to the gym, uh, take pictures, you know, th they'll put it on, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And we started, you know, getting some traction online. And people, it became like the spot to go to every single weekend because uh, we start hosting open gyms every single weekend. So a lot of people would come in. It was like the, the place to be at on the weekends. And that's, that's how we started getting traction, right? But it was such a small building. There was only so many people we could have in there. And it got to the point where it was getting like ridiculously crowded. Parking lot was really crowded. The gym itself was pretty freaking crowded. So we were like, okay, we got to back off from those open gyms because now we started to get members. Like people actually wanted to make that their home gym. And uh, yeah, that was, that was like the, the, the transition that we made to like, okay, no more free events. Now we're actually making money. Now we have members and we want to make sure that obviously members are happy and satisfied. We don't just want to overcrowd the gym with a bunch of people that are going in there for free because the people that are paying for it, we're going to get upset. So we kind of like stopped doing that, right? And uh, after that, then it started getting to where like, okay, there's only so many members we can have. Uh, how, how are we going to make more money, right? So then that's when we started doing the guest passes and we started really pushing those. So. Going back to now, it's what are we doing now? Like how, how are we able to f literally keep up with the overhead of this ginormous building? Cause it's not cheap, it's actually pretty freaking expensive. So there's a few things that we're doing, right? And uh, the main thing is obviously gym memberships. So we do have quite a bit of those. I think we are at 31, 3,200. Last time I checked, right John? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Uh, over 3,000, right? So we have, all that is coming in. It's, that's what comes in on the first of every month because we draft accounts 
on the first of every month. And uh, another thing that we uh, that we do is uh, passes, a lot of passes. Like we sell ridiculous amount of day passes, week passes, month passes, year passes. Those I think we sell more of those than actual memberships, which is crazy. So we do get a lot of a lot of flow of that, and I think part of it is because. Uh, Social media or like Roman Empire gym on social media is kind of like popping off. Like it's uh, we've been getting a lot of big names in here, so people get excited about us about that. So they come in here, check plays out, they like it, you know, they keep coming back. It seems like they spend more money on on day passes that uh, than on a membership, man. Like it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, that's one of two of the things that obviously we make a lot of money from. And then uh, we have trainers. So we have self-contracted personal trainers you know they're w9s they come in here they lease the facility and they pay an x amount of money a month and boom they have access to the gym right and then uh we have our own personal trainers as well so what we do for our own personal trainers we provide the clients we take care of payments we take care of obviously the 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 logistics side of things all they have to do is literally just show up and train the client that's literally all that is so we have both uh, also, we have tenants. This is a big building, so uh, we have a lot of office space. Those are those are three things that make a lot of money, and then we'll have the extras, right? So we have all the consumables that we sell. We sell a lot of product. We sell a lot of energy drinks, protein drinks, literally anything that's consumable. We have a lot of that, and it sells a lot. And uh, another thing is the apparel. So that's something that we kind of like been playing around with the idea for like the past four years that we've been in business, and we haven't really actually nailed it down, but last year when we actually took it a little bit serious it did pretty freaking good like i really liked the outcome that that uh that that had so this year we're literally putting in a lot of efforts into the quality of the 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 shirts that we bring the material and all that stuff the designs like we're getting a little more in depth and uh i think in march this month right sometime this month we're just waiting literally for everything to come in and we're going to be pushing everything out and i can see us i can see that eventually being a huge portion of what comes in every month every year like i can see that being a little bit bigger than the actual gym itself like it's insane i didn't even realize how much potential this whole apparel thing had until we launched it uh i think it was at the end of last year mm -hmm. yeah we, we launched roman armor at the end of last year we, we were able to kind of like split it from the gym a little bit so it's like people that don't necessarily come to the gym are buying it which is awesome and now I want to I want to explore a little bit more on that on that side, which I think it's like I said I think it's just crazy how this apparel thing is uh, coming along. So yeah, this is pretty much the ways that uh, the, the the few things that we do to uh, increase our monthly revenue. And uh, I feel like the more that you add, and you you can get more creative with it, right? The more that you add, obviously the more streams of income that you have within that same business, like it's freaking awesome. I know a lot of people would suggest like, oh, you gotta have you know. Uh, five. What is it? What is it? Does it say five uh, different streams of income? Oh yeah. Yeah, but I just think that I just think that that's a lot. <laughs> I think that if you can just be really good at one of them and try to figure out how you can make more money from that from that thing and kind of like go dive in a little bit more in that, I think that's hell of a lot better than having literally five different businesses. I think that's a lot to manage, uh, and I feel like we're kind of like at that point where we still haven't reached like our full potential just yet. And I feel like this is like a good start. This is what's gonna set the solid foundation. And I think we're just gonna start building from here. And I think it's freaking cool because uh, there's literally no freaking, no ceiling to this thing. Like we haven't, we haven't plateaued like every single month keeps going up, every single year it keeps going up. And it's like unexpected. Like uh, I remember when I first expanded into this building, uh, I do you know I did my old, my little calculations of how much money I thought I was gonna be bringing. It was like now now that I look back at it, I'm like, damn, yeah, I didn't know it was gonna be this much, right? But no, I, I was not expecting for it to blow up kind of like how it is right now, and I wasn't expecting this facility to bring in the amount of money that is bringing in. And uh, I think part of it obviously is because uh, we do put a lot of efforts into it. So that's, you know, another thing that you have to obviously constantly keep doing, putting efforts into your own uh, product, uh, making sure that you perfect it as best as possible, making sure the customers are always satisfied. And that's something that we do very, very well here. Uh, feedback is very, very important. And I feel like the more you can let your customer kind of like understand that, okay, that he actually does care, like he actually 
he actually does care what I have to say or my input, like I feel like that's gonna create that good solid foundation, the loyal members and all that stuff, you know? And uh, at the end of the day, uh, one of the things that you do have to kind of like think about is, uh, I know we talked about this before, you you want to you want to focus on on uh, on the people that are constantly coming here. You know, I feel like the day passes and the, all that stuff is cool. And obviously, we want those people because they do bring that extra cash flow at the end of the month. But uh, I feel like you got to take care of your huh, you got to take care of the family first, man. Everything everything that comes in after that, like it's it's cool, but this is priority. Uh, so yeah, I think literally that's it's so crazy how. It just trans. It just changed. Like the whole fitness thing has just changed, and it keeps changing every single year. Like I, like in uh, just in a, a few years from now, like this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a small facility. Just because I've been kind of like seeing how much money gets dumped into the gyms nowadays, this is this is gonna be a small a, a small like startup facility, and that's why we're trying to sprint as fast as we freaking can, man. Because it's it's gonna be tough. So. If you're a small gym owner, you gotta get big as fast as possible. And you have to figure out like literally different ways that you can bring in more money so you can make that happen a lot faster. Cause that's, I feel like that's kind of like in the, in the process that we're currently at, how can we make this more profitable? How can we bring in more money without, you know, being a little overwhelming and uh, without forgetting that, you know, the, about the customers and all that stuff. So that's kind of like one of the things that we've been doing. And yeah, you know, it was, it was just a little thought that I had you know yeah it is crazy like what you just said it you think of someone who owns a gym you think of some tiny little rusty building and yeah you're like oh you know but you never expected it to turn into a it's like a ymca on steroids yeah <laughs> you got no, all the no, little no, no, amenities no. but now the gym part is just you know the main focus and the all the other amenities yeah are added to it no and it's crazy because uh, the 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 financial side of it that was never the goal at all like i came in into the gym scene opened up my own gym expecting literally just to make a decent li living i think uh ever since uh COVID, everything really kind of like blew up like hell of a lot more than it was already kind of like going i feel like that sped up everything uh, now everybody wants to obviously be healthy and all that stuff and I think people being deprived from gyms and they were kind of like stuck in their you know home uh, home gyms and stuff like that I like where to get out of there and it's like oh be shit. around people and yeah oh yeah that's I think that's when we had the biggest like flow of people literally right after COVID what we did two years you know prior to that we did it in literally just two three months of post COVID being open like it was insane and uh, honestly, that's what made this possible. That, that, that gave us that extra, that gave me that extra confidence of being like, okay, like we have enough money coming in, I can do a project like this. It was still scary and obviously I was like, fucking, I couldn't sleep for countless nights because I was like, fuck, this is a lot to swallow. Yeah, you didn't uh, look too good. Yeah, no, I love, <laughs> fuck no, bro, this is horrible. This is horrible, but now that I look back at it, bro, this is easy, man. Yeah. This is an easy project, man. But then you're talking, you know, 25 year old me uh yeah no this is this was this was the biggest thing i had done at the time so i was like i didn't know anything but now um i can bro i can i can do something like this all over again every single freaking month if i needed to you know mm -hmm. uh it's, it gets a lot easier over time like i feel like that's just how stress work r works right the more stress that you put on yourself like the easier it fucking gets man it's like a freaking muscle do you feel like it was harder to start the gym and build it to where it is now or do you feel like it's going to be harder to take it where it is and get it to where you want it to be it's i think it's going to be harder to take what we have right now and get it to where it needs to be just because the competition right now is insane i think back then competition wasn't really there so you could fuck up here and there and you know but now it's like, now it's getting really freaking competitive, man. It's getting freaking competitive. And I think that people with a lot of money are starting to realize how prof profitable uh, the fitness industry is and they want to be involved or they want to be a part of it somehow. So that's why you're, you're going to see more crazy gyms pop up, man. Like this year, next year, you're going to do some very crazy freaking gyms. And we're going to be one of them, by the way. Uh, this is, yeah, we're going to be one of them. And yeah, I know it's, it's going to be, it's going to be insane, man. It's going to be cool. And I think that there's so much potential still, even just in this location, man, not even, not even speaking about a second location, just like this is all alone, has a lot of potential. I mean, it hasn't even plateaued or reached its peak yet. 
And uh, I'm curious to know what that's gonna look like. I'm curious to know uh, whenever this is like, oh shit, like now it seems like it's starting to slow down. I, go, I wanna see what that, where is that gonna, where is that line, you know? Uh, but the goal is obviously to not get there. That's the reason why we, you know, doing, doing a whole another project like this. And uh, just to keep the name going, man. You know, just to keep the brand alive, just to keep, just to stay relevant, really. And uh, to be able to keep up with some of those big freaking monster gyms that are popping up, man. Because, uh, yeah, that's where I want to be, man. That's where I want to be. This is cool, and I love this, but I see the future, and I'm like, that's fucking scary. <laughs> that's freaking good scary, scary, man. Yeah. It's a good scary, man. It gets me excited. It gets me excited. I think that, I think that as, a, as a business owner, not just as a gym owner, as a business owner, you, you have to get excited about this, man, because uh, I feel like you can get repetitive doing the same shit every single day. And uh, especially whenever you start kind of like plateauing and you're not, you, it's just not growing anymore, I feel like you, you have to keep yourself excited somehow. So you got to find excitement into what you're doing. That's why I feel like people, a lot of people say like, whatever you're passionate about, like go for it, right? Because uh, it gets, I think it gets easier. I think that when, even that thing that you're passionate about is going to get old and it's going to get boring because you do it every freaking day. But it's easier to wake up too and like be like, okay, I got to do this. I got to do that. So. So yeah, no, you just gotta keep yourself motivated. And I think that that having big gyms pop up like that just keeps you motivated, man. Because I, I, th I always think about like, uh, what, if, what if this was, you know, the biggest freaking thing and there was nothing they can compare to it? I feel like you would get lazy. I feel like you really would, or I would at least. Like, like, oh no, this is good, right? And I feel like that's where a lot of business owners go wrong. It's like, you always had to keep improving. You always had to keep raising your bar because, uh, you never know what's gonna pop up anywhere. Anything, anything can really pop up anywhere, man. You always gotta be on your toes and you can't be slacking. Uh, but going back to the, the point of this whole video, so you know, how do we make money? So uh, we make money off of memberships, we make money off of passes, we make money off of uh, tenants, we make money off of personal training, consumables, and apparel. And uh, I think next week, if everything arrives here on time, we're gonna be doing supplements as well that's something that we haven't touched we've never sold supplements here at the gym but i think that's something that i kind of like want to dive into a little bit more i found a pretty good connection and uh, we're going to be selling some supplements in here for literally a pretty good freaking price uh but yeah no that's uh that's a little rant that we decided to go on today uh jonathan is there anything you want to add to this no you pretty much covered it all man uh thank you for your time you know thanks for flying me out here <laughs> Really appreciate it. Yeah, I know course, you have man. a meeting with Jeff after this. Bezos, yes, we're yeah. Roman, Roman Prime. That's yeah, what we're working yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, 